Omission of articles. The hidden secrets of proper nouns. Hello there. Welcome back to our English grammar fundamentals. Today, we're delving deep into a fascinating topic. The omission of articles with proper nouns. If you've ever wondered why we say, let's go to the New York City, or why it's wrong to say so, then stick around. You're about to find out. Before we get into why we often omit articles before proper nouns, it's crucial to understand what proper nouns are. Proper nouns are the names of specific, unique entities, like people, places, brands, and institutions. Examples include John, Paris, Nike, and Harvard University. In contrast to common nouns, they are typically capitalized in English. Now that we know what proper nouns are, let's move on to our main topic, omitting articles before proper nouns. In English, we generally don't use the definite article, the, before most proper nouns. For instance, we say, I'm visiting Paris, not, I'm visiting the Paris. Though the rule is pretty straightforward, English, as usual, has its exceptions. Certain categories of proper nouns do use an article. This generally applies to 1. Countries that are plural or imply multiple territories like the United States, the Netherlands, or the United Kingdom. 2. Geographical features such as rivers, mountain ranges, seas, and oceans, e.g., the Amazon, the Alps, the Baltic Sea. 3. Newspapers, well-known buildings, or works of art, e.g., the New York Times, the Eiffel Tower, the Mona Lisa. So, if you're referring to the Himalayas, the United Nations, or the Great Gatsby, remember to keep the the. One common mistake is using an article before a proper noun that doesn't require one. This is especially true for cities and countries, e.g., saying, the Berlin instead of, Berlin. Remember, most proper nouns don't need an article. Another tip is to always listen and read attentively to how native speakers use articles with proper nouns. This will give you a real feel for the language and its nuances. And there you have it. The secrets to using, or not using, articles with proper nouns. Remember, while rules are helpful, don't be afraid to immerse yourself in the language to really understand these exceptions. Thanks for tuning in, we hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Keep learning, and keep practicing.